So I did my final presentation on the artist Frida Kahlo. Frida was born on July 6th, 1907 and died July 13th, 1954. A lot of the work that she created was done in Mexico and she didn't start really doing art until the late 1920s and then worked up until her death. Frida was considered a surrealist and so I just put the definition on the screen um, and this is someone who is aimed at expressing imaginative dreams and visions free from conscious rational control. A fun fact that I found was that a lot of her work wasn't recognized until after her death in the 80s and 90s and nearly half of her work were self-portraits like the photo shown on the slide and they all showcased her infamous unibrow but even if she wasn't paying a traditional like shoulders up classic self-portrait she included a, her face in a lot of her paintings and so I included an example of that later in the presentation but if she wasn't doing self-portraits her other works were mainly nature or inspired by Mexican culture just a few more facts about Frida. She was married to the fellow Mexican artist Diego Rivera, and that's a picture of them on the left. She was also diagnosed with polio at a young age and was in a really severe car accident which caused a lot of damage to her body. So this um, accident along with polio resulted in her having a lot of different health concerns throughout her life and she actually had over 30 surgeries throughout her lifetime. So these next few slides um, are just of her work and so these two kind of go hand in hand both uh, with her husband on her forehead which I thought was really interesting. So one of her most famous paintings is actually on the left and it's called Diego on my mind. And then the painting on the right is titled Diego and I. And this painting was actually done after she found out about an affair that he was having. So the hair around her neck is supposed to symbolize a strangling feeling. So obviously one of hurt, which is what she most likely felt when she found out this information. This painting is titled My Dress Hangs There and it was painted after a controversy with her husband about moving back to Mexico after living in America for three years because he really liked it in America and she did not. So this is kind of supposed to show the corrupt capitalism side of America. This painting is titled The Wounded Deer and I thought it was really unique and it also uh, shows what I was talking about earlier with her head being included in pieces kind of randomly and not a traditional self-portrait. These are all traditional self-portraits. Um, the one on the left is titled Self-Portrait with Bonito. The middle photo is titled Self-Portrait with Braid and the photo on the far right is titled Self-Portrait with Curly Hair. And something that I found unique was the titles of all her works. I mean, they're so simple and straightforward. Like the title, Self-Portrait with Curly Hair. Just very straight up. And that's something that I noticed when looking through a lot of her different pieces was that all of her titles were like that. Um, which I thought was something really unique to her. These are all just examples of the different still lifes that she created. And again, these have really simple titles like Still Life with Parrot, Still Life Round, and Still Life Flag. This is actually a photo of her drawing, or one of her drawings, that's titled The First Drawing of My Life. And I would assume that that title is accurate and not being one to judge, but it kind of looks like it was maybe the first drawing that she's really like published or anything because she was a renowned painter but she definitely got a lot better as you can tell by these photos and these are more abstract pieces that she drew and they're called karma one and karma two so i included these photos um 
because this is obviously the photo on the left. She is laying in bed while painting the family photo that can be seen on the right. And the photo on the left just really speaks volumes to what a dedicated artist she was. I mean, dealing with polio probably had her in bed a lot, and she still found a way to do what she loved and was just phenomenal at it. And so I thought that that was really encouraging to see that and then see how beautiful the outcome of the painting was. So these are where the sources where I got all of my information from and all of my pictures that I had of her artwork were all from the Frida Kahlo website. Thank you.